Praise the sun, we finally have an intro this week. But what's up guys, Murder of Birds here, welcome back to the channel and another Ruby reaction video. Uh, this is going to be Volume 5, Chapter 5, which is going to be really great. Uh, really hoping that a lot of things come to fruition over the last couple of weeks. And before I start anything, uh, thank you to everybody who was very uh, like appreciative of like these intros that I do. Uh, and like I mentioned at the bit at the beginning, uh, last weekend uh, during my Chapter 4 reaction, I didn't upload an intro, like an opening theme or even even like a first few minutes of me rambling and talking about my thoughts and what to expect for the chapter um and a lot of people that i for the comments that i read last week a lot of people were actually affected by that to an extent they were like wow it feels so weird not having an intro for you or oh man i missed the intros i i usually like a lot of people just genuinely enjoy these moments and typically i feel like uh, th this is kind of like the boring part of the reaction but i do appreciate uh, very much a lot of you guys liking my insight and my take on the episode before and after the reaction so i definitely want to say thank you guys uh for the support on that level and two things really quick and we're gonna jump right into the action first of all you guys probably already noticed it I finally got my Ruby volume 5 poster I don't know why it took so long to get to me right like I ordered this poster when it came out in the RT store by the way it looks fucking incredible you have Ruby Weiss Blake Yang Crow Cinder uh, Raven and Oscar so um, the poster looks amazing that poster is definitely gonna be featured in the background for the remainder of volume 5 uh, I obviously took down the churchism poster uh, leading up to then and I told people and some people were asking me too uh, over the last couple of weeks they were like hey I thought you said you were gonna switch your poster from RVB to Ruby when volume 5 starts and that was the initial plan um, but for some reason the poster took like three weeks to get to my house I don't know why I ordered it the day it came out in the RT store and it just got to me between uh, chapter 4 and chapter five so i was like finally i can post it up obviously church came down but i think after volume five i'm gonna put him back up once i continue back on with red versus blue uh with season eight and beyond uh after like i said after volume five and so that poster looks amazing definitely want to give a quick shout out to that because it looks incredible like it, it makes the background look really awesome and this second one is a little bit of a request of something that i've been doing since volume five has started uh, i am playing a little bit of catch up over the last week because of extra life 2017 kind of set me back a little bit but uh, for those of you who don't know, who mainly watch my reactions here on the channel, uh, I have started doing these really, like, massive projects of chapter reviews for Volume 5 since we started. At the time of this recording, uh, Chapter 3 should be out. I should be working on Chapter 4 and 5 by the time this video is uploaded. Uh, but I've been doing my TLDR reviews for Chapter 5, and these, I put so, I think I put more effort into these type of videos than anything that I've done on the channel so far. Uh, a lot of research, I actually write my own script out for it i revise the script i do a bunch of editing i i add all of these quips and and you know these jokes and a lot of humor and comedy and uh, I just realized that a lot of people probably don't know about that. And as supplementary content for Ruby, I, I definitely want to express that to a lot of you guys. So uh, either before or after the video, like I said, Chapter 3's review is already out. I definitely inquire any of you guys who have not seen the review yet. Definitely go over there, check it out. Leave me your thoughts more than anything because like I said, this is something that I've started with Volume 5. And I want to get bigger and better as I go. So feedback and criticism and just overall comments and opinions were definitely helpful. So uh, be, be sure to go over there, check those out, like I said, either before or after after the reaction and let me know but without further ado like i said we're gonna be getting into this ruby volume 5 chapter 5 i hope you guys enjoy leave your thoughts in the comments and let us begin all right guys so we're gonna be starting ruby volume 5 chapter 5 necessary sacrifice uh which is a bit of an ominous title for my liking hopefully nothing crazy or drastic goes down this episode uh we have corsac and fennec albane in the thumbnail with what looks like the portrait that Ilya seems to be worshiping or praying to in the intro don't really know the significance behind that but but uh, I'm assuming Ilya and Blake as a proxy is going to be a part of this chapter to an extent. And uh, after the intro and outro, it seems to be uh, about a 15 minute episode. So I hope you guys enjoy. As always, thank you guys for your support. Leave your thoughts of the episode and my reaction, my opinions, anything like that in the comment section. And we shall begin. All right, going full screen. And we're going to be starting in three, two, one, now. Here we go, back at Menagerie. This place is so beautiful. Hey, kitty cat. And we got some birds. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh. Are you ready? The prodigal I've son been up on returns. Giant monsters and robots <laughs> more than once. I think I can handle getting a few signatures. Oh, okay. So, that's a typical thing when it comes to gathering support and follow and followers and stuff like that. Signatures for your, your cause. Your chieftain needs you. Your people need you. Please no. join the fight and help us save Haven Academy. Nobody's down for it. I. That's really strange. Oh, is that Bunny Girl down? She's nodding her head. 
Haven Are Defense. Are you kidding me? We'd love to have someone with your skills on our side. <laughs> and what kind Mata. of skills would those be? Mato? Is that his name? Get back inside. <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> but mom, I want to go and save the world. Wow. Nobody wants to be, like, the change they want to see. How do you think people are going, like, mankind is not going to see much of your, of the species if, if, if everyone is just pulled together. Oh, come on, son. Yeah, they didn't, they just don't want to be bothered. Does, does that guy have scales on his head? What? Like, fish scales. Is fish faunus? Well, more fish faunus. It's not like that fish. Oh! Is that a... Dude, they got mermaid faunus too! That is crazy! I Sun and bananas! <laughs> Dude, they always have them near bananas. It's crazy. I don't get it! How can they just sit around and do nothing with the white fang getting ready to attack? Because not everyone is like you and me. No one the wants- faunus here in Menagerie, the ones that weren't born on the island, uh -huh. moved here because they were tired of fighting. Oh. Of having to struggle constantly. They've already done Menagerie their part then. People that just want to be left alone. And here we are asking them to put the rest of the world before themselves. Again. I guess I never really thought about it. This like reminds that. me of their first interaction. The problem is, whatever happens at Haven is going to affect them whether they like it or not. Yeah. If Adam, Adam gets his way and Haven falls, it's, it's only, only going, going to make, make things, things look worse, worse for the faunus. It's like that's that's Everywhere. the dialogue from the uh from the trailer. Adam Ooh. He's the guy you used to <laughs> work with. Don't, don't, don't prod the cat. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Forget I brought. I it love up. Blake's no, ears. Okay. Super expressive. Have you ever met someone and thought to yourself, they are the personification of this word? Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, I remember getting to know Ruby and thinking. This girl is the embodiment of purity. Aww. After a while, I saw Weiss was defiance. Okay. And Yang was strength. That's great. What am I? <laughs> Jerry's still out on that one. <laughs> but I'm leaning towards Ernest. Oh, God. He's, oh my God. Black Sun Shipper's <laughs> going crazy. Mm -hmm. At first, I thought Adam was justice. Then I thought I he was passion. I love this OS. This is, uh... But over time, I realized I was wrong. From shadows. He wasn't any of those things. He was spite. Spite. Not hatred, not rage, spite. Really? He won't accept equality, only suffering for what he feels the world did to him. Okay. And his way of thinking is dangerously contagious. Clearly. That's what worries me about Ilya. Corsac, Fennec, Ilya. not like Adam, not yet at least, but I don't know how long that will last. I, she was your friend, huh? I always assumed that Ilya and she Blake was. were like the opposite sides. Like, Her Ilya is what Blake would be season. if she never left She could have lived White a normal Fang. life if she wanted. But she didn't. I always admired that. Hmm. She lost her family in a mining accident when she so was So are we young, getting... And she joined the White Fang. Like me, she was more or less trained on the... This is kind of like a, 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 a recap, almost, of what we learned herself. about in the Blake trailer. But... As people like Sienna and Adam started to gain a following, she became more dangerous. Really? I guess I did too. Yeah, but you got out. You left. My parents tried to get me to leave with them, but I refused. This is literally a, a recap for son's sake. <laughs> you know we're going to have to face her eventually. I know. Oh, like morning follows so, night. What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh, but I love I'm these going renditions. To try and help her the way you helped me. Hmm? Really? You showed me that sometimes you need to be there for a friend, even when they don't want you to be. Yes. I was drowning in guilt and fear. You pulled I tried her to push out. you away, but you didn't give up on me. And I can't give up on Ilya. Hence, like morning follows night. It's about time I saved my friends for once. <laughs> it's about damn time, Blake. Love that moment. Got a little bit more on Adam. Ah, oh, Oscar! Oh. You're really getting better, huh? Oh, this is the Are you moment. Hungry? It's almost dinner time. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, that sounds good. Please have a one-on-one -on -one moment. About Please to talk. Call it a night anyway. So you've never fought before? Just the occasional small grim. Really? Nothing like this, though. I thought he was well, gonna talk about like 
like freaking Look rabbits natural. attacking his garden. It's strange. It's us. Aus- it's Oz King for a few weeks, but really, I feel like I've had it for a lifetime. That's the Older, idea. Even more like thousands of years. I sound like a crazy person. I mean, uh, yeah, just a little. <laughs> but at this pace, you'll be combat ready in no time. Oh no! Oh! That was Penny. Well, uh, I'll see you upstairs. How do you handle all of this? Really? How do you just not do you break down? I'm scared. I'm more scared than I've ever been in my life. Than I ever thought was possible. I always knew that I wanted to be more than a farmhand. Well, who would ask for this? this? Who would ask for this? That's also from the trailer. <sighs> Jeez. This is intense. Oh, no, Oscar. That is cool as fuck. (laughs) That is so cool. But you're right. None of us asked for this either. We just have to press on and How can you be so confident? People have tried to kill you. The world's about to go to war all over again. Dude, dude, dude. Are you okay with any of this? Chill, bro. Who says she is okay with it? She has to press on. You gotta keep moving forward, dude. When Beacon fell, I lost two of my friends. Penny Polandina and Pira Nikos. I didn't know them for very long, but that doesn't change the fact that they were two of the most kind-hearted people I'd ever met. But that didn't save them. Pira thought that if there was even the smallest chance of helping someone, that it was a chance worth taking. And because of that, she died fighting a battle she knew she couldn't win. And Penny? was killed just to make a statement I'm sorry I am scared but not just for me for the people what happened at Beacon shows that Salem doesn't care if you're standing against her or not she'll kill anybody and that scares me most of all Pira Penny, I'd be lying if I said that it didn't hurt. That I didn't think about them every day since I lost them. That I didn't wish I had spent more time with them. If it had been me instead, I know they would have kept fighting too. No matter how dangerous it was. So that's what I choose to do. To keep moving forward. Oh my god. Come on. If we don't hurry, Nora's gonna eat everything. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time. Hey, Oscar. This isn't gonna be easy. But the fact that you're even trying says a lot about you. You're braver than you think. She really is remarkable, isn't she? <laughs> Yeah. She must have been one of the best huntresses at Beacon, huh? <laughs> in some ways, yes. But in many others, no. Simple soul. She has her quirks, her faults, just like everyone else. But she also possesses something unquantifiable. A simple soul. A spark that can inspire others even in the darkest of times. <laughs> Literally. That's also... This must be really hard That was referenced too. in Divide. A simple spark. Is. A simple spark can ignite hope, breathe fire into the hearts of the weary. Humanity Your derives thoughts. a lot of strength from hope. Are of no significance. Oh, Corsac and Fennec! If this is how High Leader Taurus wishes to proceed, <sighs> then we shall make it so. Of course, brother. Still. Where the Come hell are in. they? Are they in the headquarters? Sister Ilya. Thank you for meeting with us. Okay. How may I be of assistance? Please. You're a sacrifice. Necessary. The necessary sacrifice. 
What is it? We finally received a message from the Mistral Brotherhood. The operation was a success. Adam Taurus has claimed his place as the high Fuck! leader of the Ugh! God damn it! God. And Sienna? It's Buried dead. with honor. The other branches of the Fang have been given the story that was agreed upon. The human the huntsman. Necessary sacrifice. We won't forget everything she did for us. Are you fucking insane? Your maturity and understanding in regards to this matter is appreciated. And it is why we've summoned you here this evening. The White Fang is experiencing a transitional period. Growth requires change. And change can be painful. Hmm. If it's for the betterment of the Faunus, then it's a pain we can endure. What's our next mission? Containment. With the CCT tower still inoperable, we have the luxury of control over the flow of information. Exa oh, they're news gonna spread fake news, dude! Fucking Nava. false when information! Does, the citizens of Kuo Kowana will undoubtedly react poorly now that the chieftain has spoken out against us. It's my fault the Belladonna's had any ground to stand on. Do not concern yourself with past failures, Ilya. Focus on the future. We have an opportunity what the hell, for redemption. Man. What do you need me to do? The Belladonnas are the only remaining threat to Adam's assault. No! Please don't tell me you're gonna and fucking so put a hit on them! They must be silenced. D S silenced? Look what you got yourself like into! Sienna, they stand in the way of true progress for our people. We would never put such a burden on you alone. It doesn't course. seem like she knew. Your brothers and sisters will be at your side. But your relationship with their daughter makes you an integral part of this operation. Blake? You're gonna use we her. We know how close you were with young Blake. Rest assured. Wow. High Leader Taurus has requested she be taken alive. But we cannot so you're risk gonna having kill her, her parents to defend her family. But the people of Menagerie... We'll come to understand <gasps> what happens to those who speak out against the White Fang. Are you f and we'll be left without a leader until our victory is complete. Oh my god, dude. Uh, unnecessary These are sacrifice. really rat Sister Wow. Unnecessary sacrifice. You've got to be fucking kidding me right now. That's like Ilya, you you literally have to like realize how fucking She's right to worry fucked about the up citizens. you are. It's possible they may come to see Gira as a martyr. It is a risk we must take. That's gonna be the polar the polar opposite. That's what you guys are doing with Sienna. She's being seen as a martyr as well. I will not allow them to ruin this. The Belladonna name has brought me nothing but grief. Jesus Christ, Adam, what the fuck is wrong with you, You've dude? You've done well in finding the deserter. Bring her to me alive. Oh god. But not before you've slaughtered her family. I have a promise to keep. Adam, what? <laughs> like, what? He seems unwell. Yeah, yeah. He carries with him a tremendous burden. Are we sure he is the one to lead us? For now. We must do what is best for the Faunus. For now, you say? So is he also a. Yes. Brother Yuma. Yuma? Did you see to get his messenger? He rests beneath the waves, <gasps> along with his warning. He killed the messenger? As well. Oh my god. Yo. Like, <laughs> just kill off the Belladonna fam- Like, kill off anyone who speaks against your cause. That remind. oh my god. How- how the fuck can anyone, like, be on Adam's side? Even the funnest, like, this is literally the radical- Like, this is the- this is the perspective of the White Fang that Weiss was kind of- 
talking about when the show started. She was like, they're a bunch of liars, thieves, and murder. Like, that's literally the, the personification of Adam's branch and Adam's radical ideal of the White Fang to where you're literally going to go out of your way to not only kill the leader of the, of the White Fang and already have that much influence, that much power on your side, but to then go out of your way to kill innocent people who want a peaceful, uh, who want like a peaceful alternative to, to like, to like the fucking bloodshed and the, and the ridiculous violence that's going on for, for, for what their, their, they think their true cause is. And they literally put a hit on Blake's family. All this because Blake left the fucking white, are you serious, Adam? Like all this over a fucking woman. I mean, I, I, I know that's general to say, but it, it seems like she was, he, like Adam was like the Belladonna name has only brought me grief. And he, he mentioned something along the lines of like my, uh, he mentioned something along the lines of, I will keep my promise, which is like, well, what promise are you talking about? What promise did you make to whom, you know? And, and, and Blake also mentioned that when she thinks of Adam, she thinks of spite. So it seems like he's doing this for the sake that maybe he was scorned in the past or humanity just kind of did him dirty to the nth degree where at this point he has nothing left to, cause that's what I'm thinking. Like, like you would think Adam has like family, friends, loved ones that he cares about that he's putting at risk for this cause, but I don't think he does. Like, I feel like he's, he's gone. He's this far gone because he has nothing left. He has nothing left to lose. Maybe Blake was the last, like, the last respite that he had for salvation or redemption or, you know, anything along those lines. But the more I see Adam, the more I fucking can't stand him. The more I'm just like, I'm intrigued for sure because we got, we got little breadcrumbs this episode, but it's still not enough for me to see why he's really going along with this as a, as a, as an antagonist. It's like, dude, you are beyond saving at this point to the point where you're going to kill off like like a, a, like a, the chieftain and his wife simply because they speak out against you or they want like peace for their for their people and that's clearly not something that you see which is insane um this felt this was a very dialogue heavy episode the first part i would say was all completely like recaps uh from our not for not not for the viewer but for for son so we learned about obviously blake talked about uh, Ilya about how she lost her family basically the information that we got in the Blake character short and little bits and pieces that we got last volume of uh, you know how Blake left the White Fang how she like you know like uh, like yelled at her parents and called them cowards and stuff like that but then eventually she realized that they were right the whole time so the first portion was more of like a like kind of like a one-on-one -on -one with Blake and son but I assumed I feel like you know what I mean? Like, there's already a lot of stuff in the show that we already see off screen. So I felt like it was very odd that out of all the things they decided to show us, they showed us an interaction, which I enjoyed. And I like the parallel comparison to how Blake and Son interacted initially in Volume 1. Both of them having a drink and talking about, like, how Blake became a, was part of the White Fang and stuff like that. And they're having another drink here talking about, like, present, current events. Um, so I like that parallel, but to 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 show us or to yeah to rather show us a an interaction with them two of kind of regurgitated information for the sake of sun granted they've been on a boat for month i would assume they've been on a boat for a while to get to menagerie and then they've already been in menagerie for a, for a, for a while so i'm surprised that now's the point that she's relaying all of this information to to get kind of to get sun up to speed to where we are so that was the only thing that I was curious about. Like, I was wondering, like, like that was a weird option for them to go through with. And um, the middle sequence was just, uh, it was just a very tear-jerking, heart-wrenching moment to really see how, how things are affecting Ruby. You know what I mean? Like, like, we've always seen Ruby as this character who kind of braces through everything and has never really been psychologically affected by much like you know what i mean like a lot of people will consider ruby to be kind of like this quote-unquote mary sue character simply for the fact that she is um she's a character that can overcome anything right she's kind of like the kirito of 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 ruby <laughs> you know where um you know, like, like she even said, she lost, she's lost so much in her life, right? She nearly lost her sister. She mentioned Penny. She mentioned Pira. She's lost her mother. 
all of her friends are scattered, hasn't seen them in months, realizes that she's, she faces death every single day, that Salem doesn't care who you are, if you are against her, then you are, you know, you're on the, the you're on, they're on the chopping block, right, and, um, this was really the first time that we, but like, it's it's giving us a lot more than what we got in volume four, right? Between her and John, her talking about this is all her fault and that she dragged her friends into this, you know, this crazy scenario that, you know, I feel like they have just as much of a, of a, of a, of a right to be there as her because they lost a part of their team and, you know, it's, it's just as much their fight as it is hers. But for this episode to really see where her mind is, uh, you know, regarding all of the tragedies that have happened in her life in a very small period of time, right? She jumped up two years, thought she was going to go to this really awesome, amazing, fantastical school, learn how to fight monsters, become a freaking huntress, go training and stuff like that with her sister and, you know, make new friends and stuff like that. And then your school gets destroyed, two of your friends get killed, and you're thrown into this really bigger-than-life conflict that you that really goes beyond you, really. It's really Ozpin and Salem, but you're thrown into the middle of it. I was actually surprised. I thought Ozpin was going to take the reins in terms of talking to her about it, but he was always there, you know what I mean? He's always there, and um, I, it was great to get that from Oscar, too, because like I mentioned, uh, he's fresh pair of eyes, has no real part in any of this being like the most common of commoners and you know just getting picked up and thrown into this world just like even worse than ruby because at least she trained for this lifestyle so to speak but he's kind of like a brand new fresh pair of eyes coupled with you know the mysterious you know enigma that is ozpin learning more about him as time goes on but uh i loved that middle scene i think the middle scene with 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 ruby granted it was a really short brief moment and it was one that i was really taking in because you know i i i always it's kind of crazy right like how long it's been since volume three and how much that those two characters affected me so much for the from the entirety of the show since their introduction right penny and pira and then the you know the Monty the Monty O mantra keep moving forward. It's um, it's 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 always a it's it's a it's a reminder for sure that you know not just the characters have lost something, you know in in the grand stakes of this show as a whole, but the the fandom had also lost something grave as well. And it's it's just it, it's it's always a reminder that we're, we're all fighting for this you know we're all trying to see where this final you know this final where, where everything is going to where the chips are going to lay by the very end of it and um you know it's, it's it's just tender moments like that that really break me down so love those moments for sure but it, it's kind of crazy that even to this day they still they still get to me no matter what uh we also got that that, that freaking that uh what was he like a hawk or 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 a freaking they had like hawk wings or bat wings his name was yuma which has to do with native american culture because i just did a theory on raven and crow and the bronwyn tribe and i was i did a lot of native american research and i'm pretty sure well aside from being a city in arizona yuma arizona let me pull this up really quick um yuma meaning uh let's see yuma a name used in american indian culture meaning son of a chief he 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 can tend to be a very good looking he tends to be very good he can tend to be good looking strong intelligent and a charmer all right i don't know i don't know about all that uh okay here's the legitimate definition a member of an american indian people living mainly in southwestern arizona a la Yuma, Arizona. So I find that very interesting that I did a theory completely irrelevant to the Faunus about Native American culture, and then you have this Faunus who's named Yuma that is derived from Native American culture. So I think I think that's kind of interesting. So I think he is going to be the assassin, the assailant that is going to silence the Belladonnas because the swiftest messenger, the swiftest messenger of Menagerie got killed by this guy. And I assume they're they're both of avian type, like right, both flying types, um, which now leads me to believe that Gira may be killed. Gira might be killed, and you'll have Sienna Khan who will be a martyr for the White Fang, and you will have Gira who will be a martyr for uh, the Faunus of Menagerie. That 
it, it's going to suck really bad, but it's probably going to get to the point where Gira's death is going to be the push that the people of Menagerie need to get back into the fight, which I will be absolutely heartbroken if the Belladonnas get killed. And I can't even tell you what that would do to Blake. Even with Sun there for her, with her, I'm sorry, even with Sun there with her for support. So, um... I'm kind of like at a loss right now for 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 how I could how to really go about this chapter, um, but I I will sit on it for a few days. I'm gonna be working on uh, my my theories and my review for this as a whole. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed as well. Like I said, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Anything that I had to mention in the comment section, and uh, I will see you guys very soon for the next video. Take care.